What is up everyone? So before I get to bigger top tens, when I mean bigger, I mean more controversial and you know, the few scrubs I do have may, you know, just, you know, unsubscribe for me and just never come back, but we're going to do it anyway. So today we're going to talk about the top 10 characters of this decade, which is a really big and ambitious top 10, but nevertheless, I'm going to give it a try anyway. There again, webtoons as i always said have just given us amazing content and characters are definitely a big part of why the webtoon universe is so good and so huge and becoming increasingly popular and there are many characters along the way that have either made us very mad that have made us want to cry or are just really cool and that we want to follow their example so without that being said let's get into it this is the top 10 characters that i view now i will say this there will probably be some spoilers i'm just putting out that out there now and again i will only go through one character from one series so it won't be two or three characters from the same series hopefully um again i don't read every webtoon as much as i would like so your favorite character may not be on this list and yes i'm doing guys and girls because i just want to have a nice mix and a nice blend and again this is just my opinion you know again you are more than welcome to debate, dis disagree, agree. It's up to you. It's all in the fun of making videos. So with that being said, let's get into the uh, the top 10. So at number 10, we have Athena. Athena from Athena's Complex. Now, the reason why I put Athena on this list is because one of the things that I enjoyed about Athena's Complex was merely the fact that Athena was portrayed very well. Like Athena is just the coolest goddess that you ever want to meet in life. Like just the, how they portray her story, how they portray her actions, even how is she relevant now in the 21st century, it's all just amazing to me. Like Athena is definitely a goddess you don't want to touch, you don't ever want to meet in a dark alley, and you just really just fall in love with Athena and just her trickery because of how the story is portrayed so well. Athena is cool, collected, insanely powerful. Nothing really can take her down. And that's one thing that I really love about Athena's uh, complex in that regard. Now, the only time she really gets uncool when it ever came to Poseidon, and that caused her to lose a lot of judgment in a lot of areas, true. But overall, in terms of just being an overall genuinely well-built and well-rounded character, Athena definitely earns a top spot on this list. At number nine, Jaegu girls of the wild now of course the main reason why he's up on this list is you know he was a he was the main harem king like like beside before the jihad harem became a thing it was jegu get on his level so girls of the wild if you don't know real quick girls of the wild follow around this character named jegu and in which he was the first guy to ever be admitted to an all-girls school because they were basically transitioning from an all-girl school to a, basically a school with guys and girls and they're also one of the world's most elite fighting schools out there so yeah but all joking aside not only in the fact that you know he was able to amass a, a, an amazing harem which honestly just fell into his lap just because he was a guy in general and the girls just never saw guys perfect scenario but also it was really good to see his character from a person who was such a pacifist who wasn't really good at fighting into what he did as the series went along i truly respect his progress and his growth especially in terms of his fighting in action and in terms of how he processed love and his emotions it was very interesting to see his love between the queen and even other people in the show. But more what was shadow for overshadowed that was basically how he carried himself in terms of training to be the best fighter that he could be. And he was one of the better fighters when the series nearly ended. And he did a lot of things based off the skill that he gained. So definitely just Jaegu is a classic character that we all wanted to be in life. We all wanted our own harem of the hottest girls that you could ever meet that could kick a lot of enemies. And yeah, Jaegu definitely deserves a top 10 spot on this list. At number eight, we have Seon Kim, A Good Day to Be a Dog. And I might talk about this a lot actually, because Good Day to Be a Dog did something a little unpre a little bit unprecedented to me, honestly. And the, tab and the fact of the love that Hana you shared with Seon Kim. The reason why I put him so high on this list is because we all want that someone that just 
falls all over us that we just want to protect, that we want to care for, and they reciprocate the same thing. Actual true love in which someone reciprocated is something very rare. And it's something that all of us as humans are dying to have and dying for in our lives. And Seon Kim definitely was able to obtain that in the weirdest way possible. When all hope was lost, when he thought he didn't have a chance, a miracle happened in which he could be with the woman that he loves. And that is just something that we all can relate to in this day and age. Also, too, he was quite the ladies' man. Like, he had, a, despite him being pris and prim and, you know, OCD and being very clean, he also was quite the ladies' man. He just was in love with one other person. So, the ladies' man, cool, collected, career-wise, and also just having a person that loved him so much. Definitely, Seon Kim deserves a top spot on this list. At number seven, Haru. Now, the reason why Haru is a top pick for me is just not because of the love that he received, but just also just because the character that he was in general. Like, he turned out to be the strongest werewolf in the entire series, which shocked us all, because at first he was underestimated as if the weakest of the, of the werewolves, and we didn't even know about his past. When all of that came out, suddenly he became to be the strongest werewolf, and his valor and efforts, again, created that last step that they needed to pursue for werewolf independence. Again, Haru is just a leader character. He's just an example of what it's like to let your feelings go and to just not care about what other people think. Haru is the character that really does want the best for all, even his enemies or those that he views as his enemies. Haru is just a very staple and a very cliche character to an extent, but he showed a lot of uniqueness in the terms of how he felt, how he cared about how he felt and how he carried out his mission even until the end. Haru definitely is an amazing, cool character that will always be in my heart, just no matter how the series ended. And definitely, he deserves a spot on this list. Number five, you. The reason why you is, well, number six, apologies. The reason why you is on this list is because I can personally relate to you, and a lot of people can relate to you, to you. You was always a mysterious character, but one had to respect how she carried herself. You just did not care. You know, she just was who she was, and you either liked her or you just didn't, and that was it. And I highly have respect for characters who are just themselves and not putting on airs. And that's what makes you really attractive in the sense where it's because she is real. She is genuine. She is genuine to herself, even though sometimes it's not the best time to be genuine to herself. Also, her past, again, it's just very relatable and it's relatable to a lot more people than myself. And you, she reminds me a lot of Hana from It's a uh, from Devil Number Four in the terms of where your past and your situation can change you. You are distant. You are not talkative. You are this word emotionally unavailable because of the stuff that happened in your past. And you is definitely a clear example of having a very twisted and very distorted past. But all in all, while doing that, she still managed to get the strength to go to school and take care of her father. She's just basically a very strong and a very powerful willed character who definitely is one of the best characters that i've seen in the decade so far and number five malori mage and the demon's queen the reason why malori is on this list is plain and simple i just respect the love that she has for the queen like she is very consistent and consistency is probably one of the best strategies you can use towards anyone that you love she is always consistent consistent in her antics consistent in her love her lust whatever it is she is very consistent she is also very persevering which i feel is another but you got to be careful with that but it's another key factor in getting someone that you really are in, are like and you really enjoy malori is basically every girl and every boy at heart she's the girl that oh i really love someone and i don't know what to do but to go after she's the girl that will always keeps thinking about that person no matter how bad or how good is it she's the character that only wants to protect that person that you love and only wants to be there for that person malori is just an example of everyone and who we aspire to be and how this game should work and that's why malori is number five on this list number four jihan jean the gamer not really much to talk about with jihan jean 
who would really would want their his ability as a gamer. It's broken. I would definitely love his ability as the gamer to kill monsters to get money rather than go to work. And I can just be in Japan and travel all I want and make videos. Would definitely, I would kill him for that, like legit. But the gamer has a lot of other things other than his gamer ability. Whatever it's called, what I said earlier, the Jihan Harem. He also has a massive harem of probably just every girl in the show. It's like every girl was made for Jihan and you know, he's just like, okay, I don't want it because you know, there's other guys out there, but they're all made for him. But being a gamer and being a very gifted ability user, he definitely is just someone that we just all want to be. We would all love to cheat on our test or we would all love to use our gamer abilities to help us through life in general. And he has that and it's in theory. Hey, can, can I get that, Jihan? Can I get that, please? But definitely, Jihan deserves to be at a high spot on this list. At number three, Yuri Jihai, Tower of God. Okay, look, Yuri Jihai is my favorite character on Tower of God. Do not judge me. I've always loved Yuri Jihai from the moment that she appeared in episode one or two, even in the very be beginning. Yuri Jihai is very strong but you know but not in the terms of strength but in terms of mentality she's just a strong-willed very powerful very hard-headed thick skulled whatever you want to put it this is yuri jihad yuri jihad really follows her own heart she really doesn't go by the wishes of the jihad family or what other people want she just basically goes by what she feels that is best when she meets encounters with bam she really just goes after what she feels that she should do also on top of that, Yuri Jihad is very powerful as being probably the only person in Tower of God who beat a high-ranking person in less than a minute, in, in a whole chapter. But definitely just being a very powerful, cool, compassionate, pretty uh, female-based character who drives other female characters too, being a high-ranking figure who plays a role in the whole Jihad takeover in a Jihad hunt definitely puts Yuri Jihad at one of the top spots of this list. At number two, Frankenstein. No bless it. Look, I love Rai. Rai is an amazing character, but Frankenstein just has this cockiness about him that it's like he sprays it on him whenever he just needs to be, or he just has this aura around him 24 seven. I love Frankenstein's personality because he's basically like the father of everything and he just can't help but just let people know, look, I created you. You're, you're telling me all this garbage, but just know. I'm your father, Darth Vader all day, type of thing. Also just being an extremely powerful combatant, very loyal to Rai, will not leave Rai's side for no reason, and everything he does is for Rai, and nothing else alone. He will never betray Rai, he will never hurt Rai, he will always call him master because he's that loyal to him. Being a skilled fighter, just being insanely cocky and you know well driven and just confident in his skills which is why he's able to come back so many times definitely frankenstein again one of my favorite characters since no blessed ever ever began again always a very powerful very diverse very strong powerful person that definitely you should get to know if you ever read no blessed you should definitely read because it has one of my favorite scenes of all time in webtoons. So definitely Frankenstein, again, I have high respect for Frankenstein and definitely starts the top spot on this list. Keeping in transition with um, cool and calm collected characters, we have Iding, Cody's father from Lumini. Now I'm gonna say this, I hate Cody. There, I said it. Don't like him even now. I don't like him, but love his father. His father is just, yeah, suave debonair insanely intelligent has plans within a plan i highly doubt he's dead like honestly i doubt he i'm pretty sure he planned for that as well but again just being a very calm and cool character being insanely powerful just basically one of the main characters that drove drove lumini up to this point where they had to leave definitely lumini's father i feel is the best character of this decade I definitely want to emulate him and his and his his rhythms, and I definitely want to really really examine more about what he's what makes him tick. Again, one of the classic and one of the best characters, if I do say so myself, that has ever happened in the decade of 2020. And that is my video. Um, again, if you disagree, agree, make sure you leave a, a comment. Down